Appreciate the music that Brother Rob played on the trumpets, and uh, there's a point I want to get across today when we're talking about Memorial Day. I was raised in World War II, and I appreciated all those that uh, gave their life that we might have our freedom today. And my son-in-law Mike's got me a lot of figures here, and it's uh, hundreds of thousands of people that died on the battlefield. And if they had not died on the battlefield and gave their life, we would not enjoy it the freedom that we have today. And by traveling all over the world in different times, mission fields and other trips, I visited many cemeteries, and the cemeteries in Hawaii, and then the cemeteries on Corregidor, Corregidor in the Philippines, and then other cemeteries in other parts of the world. And to see those crosses, I've also been to Omaha Beach and saw those, uh, all those crosses that represents our service people that gave their life on D-Day, so many of them, uh, back in 1945. And it's always very humbling to see those different, different cemeteries and knowing these people gave the ultimate price that we might have our freedom. And by being very patriotic, when I see the flag, tears come to my eyes. When I see the planes fly overhead, when I see the marching soldiers and see all the different branches of the service, it means so much to me. But also, I must point out something too. Uh, the ultimate sacrifice has been given and is not taking anything away from Memorial Day. It's a sacrifice on Calvary's Hill. When Jesus Christ 
took upon the sins of each and every one of us, and he gave his all. And he says, Father, I commit myself into your hands, Lord. And he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And so the ultimate sacrifice that we can bear for all eternity and be in heaven if we receive Christ is what Jesus did on Calvary's cross. But I want you to appreciate our soldiers, our sailors, our Marines, all branches of service, and those that did give the ultimate price on Memorial Day. The scripture that we have here, what is written that, uh, that we, uh, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that has loved us. For we're persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things for present, nor things to come, shall ever separate us from the love of God. And that is a powerful scripture like that of what we realize. And I thought about the greatest hero of World War II, and I always liked cowboy movies, and Artie Murphy was a cowboy and after he come out of the service. The most decorated hero in World War II. And he did things, if you see the movie, tell and back, it tells about it. The book that was written about it. And I've often thought about, you know, what he did and the price he paid. But even when Artie died, there was never an evidence or ever any mention of him receiving Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. So let's not ever realize or think that regardless of the sacrifices we make on the face of this earth, that's well good, and we respect it, and I respect our men and women in armed forces and what they've done. But we've got to recognize the ultimate sacrifice on Calvary's Hill when Jesus hung on that cross, and he defeated death, hell, and the grave, and he rose again, and he's seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us today. And that is the ultimate ultimate price that can be paid for us. And he says we're more than conquerors. And a conqueror was one that would go in and take over the land. But then the conqueror would also take the spoils of the land and many times set up residence in the land because he owned it all because of the sacrifices that his men made. And so what we got to realize now is when we receive Christ, as our Lord and Savior, let's be patriotic. Let's pray for our service people. Let's recognize and let's respect the price that they paid on the battlefield. But let's never forget Golgotha. Let's never get the cross where Jesus hung on that cross. And he said, it is finished. Salvation's plan is done. Let's always remember the ultimate, ultimate victory that will last for all eternity is the victory we have in Christ. And knowing that our Redeemer liveth and knowing that our sins are forgiven and know that we have a home in heaven. I pray that this devotion not only makes you more patriotic to appreciate your country, but I pray it will wake us up too that our works do not save us. It's not by works lest any man should boast, but it's by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ that we are saved. So let's each and every one of us accept him if we have it to, and let's ask him to come into our heart to forgive us of our sins. And as you do that, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. God bless you. Respect and observe the Memorial Day coming up. And thank God that our country is free because of the sacrifice so many of them have made. God bless you today. <laughs>